happy snow day. So today I'm coming to you from home because the gym is um, having a late start in terms of the opening and there's no classes in the morning or the evening. And after this, we're doing a 30 minute workout because after this we have to go shovel. So it's like bonus strength training and cardio. So today we're going to do a hit inspired 30 minute workout. We're gonna do 50 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest, or maybe not, right? Honor your body. Um, we're gonna start with a three minute warm up. We're gonna end with a three minute cool down. In between all of the exercises are gonna be 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. We're gonna move on to the next one. We're gonna alternate a cardio and a strength training exercise. We're gonna do that 12 times, right? Six rounds, if you will. And then we're gonna repeat that whole series. And the second round, I might switch it up a little bit, right? Or, and you can join me in the switch up or you can join me in any of the modifications that I'm gonna offer so that there's a little something for everybody. I'm not gonna play music because usually when I do play music, it interferes with your ability to hear me. So we're just gonna focus on the exercises and you can go ahead, hit pause or run real quick and grab your uh, music, grab a towel, grab a water and let's get started. I've got a timer, three minutes to warm up. It's not the same without music, but we'll do the best we can. Here we go, march it out. Take a nice long deep breath. Anytime that we work out, anytime I lead a fitness class, I always recommend that the people who are attending the class know why they're showing up, right? Be intentional about why you're showing up into the spaces. Take a nice long deep breath, arms go up, and roll it out. Bring those hands down, roll it out, roll it up. We're gonna do no weights today. I'm just gonna leave this here. March it out, keep marching. Deep breath, arms up, and roll it out. Good, step the legs nice and wide, and just pull those feet back, kick the booty, reach the arms back, elbows drag towards the ribs. Keep those shoulders plugged in, Warming up through the legs, breathe. Sometimes I make noise. <laughs> That's real. When there's no music, I'll make my own music. Four, three, two. Knees come up towards the chest, tap them. Warming up through the backs of the legs. Arms go up and over if you want, right here. Warming up through the shoulders as well. Pull the belly up and in. Take a deep breath. Four. Three, two, feet come up center, tap them right here. Oh, yeah, right there, tap it out. Yields. four, three, two, foot comes out to the side, scoop and lift, scoop and lift. Pull the belly in, nice flat back, scoop and lift, scoop and lift. You got it, four more, four, Three, two, and one. March it out, take a deep breath, arms go up. Shake it off, bring it down. Tap the heels forward, tap the shoulders like a little bicep curl. And you're sitting in it, so you're staying seated a little bit. Still warming up through those legs and upper body. Breathe. Here we go, for four. Three, tap the toes out to the sides, lift the arms, tap the shoulders. Right there. Four, three, tap the toes back, reach the arms up. For four, three, two, step the legs out, reach up and over, open up to the side body. It's so weird with my shoes tapping and no music. Four, three, two, reach across the chest and twist. Open up the back muscles, the belly muscles. Three, two, one. Here we go, first exercise. 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. We got jumping jacks, your version. I'm gonna pause this for a quick second. Either right here, we got 10 seconds of four beeps or right here or stay low, right? You choose your version of a jumping jack. Whatever you choose is perfect. Let's go. And you can alternate, right? If you start in a full jack, 
and then you're like, this is bothering my knee or I'm getting tired. You can pull it back to the side step, pull the belly up and in, reach the arms up, plug in the shoulders, breathe. You're here for that mark, that's your halfway mark. So you're here for 25 more seconds or not, right? Honor your body. If this is your first time working out in a long time, maybe you do 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds of rest, or 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. You know, you have to figure out what works for your body. Honor where you are on your fitness journey. Time. First cardio down. Second, bring the feet out nice and wide. Where the toes go, the knees follow. Reach the arms, plug the shoulders in, sink, squeeze and pull it back. So we're doing sumo squats with this back shoulder squeeze right here. Keep the shoulders plugged in, head is nice and high. Press evenly into both heels. Press and lift, press and lift. Yes. Make sure you're going straight up and down, right? Pulling the elbows back and a little bit over, squeezing those shoulder blades together. At the top, those legs are not locking. You're keeping them nice and soft. Really working, engaging through those inner thighs. And time. Ooh, nice, 10 seconds, shake it off. We're going for a high knee run. You got two choices. You can either right here, just draw the knees up or literally make it into a little run. Either one, I'm gonna do it on the mat. It's a little quieter. Either one, make sure you're honoring your body first because it's 50 seconds of work, right? Or 30 or 40. You can even start here and then transition to the standing knee lifts or start with the standing knee lifts and end in a run, your choice. Pull that belly in halfway there. Whether you're going faster or slower, not the point. Pull the belly in, get those knees up. Make sure you're breathing. Nice breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Time. Okay, squat with cat raise. So, Feet line up with the shoulders, slightly turned out. Set that booty back. Lift, calf raise at the top, reach those arms out. Lift. Arms come in, elbows try to touch it down, keep the chest lifted, booty sinks back. Press evenly into both heels to come up, and then evenly into both sets of toes to lift into that calf raise. Halfway there, press and lift, yes. Reach it out. Really press the arms open as if you're pressing against something, getting the upper body to do some work as well, not just the legs, right? Full body experience. Time, next cardio, jump rope. You have two choices. You can calf raise right here, circle the arms, or squeeze the feet together, zip it up, really get those feet off the floor. Again, from the mat, just a little lighter. And have some fun with it, right? Fitness should be fun. Maybe we hop, maybe we hop, maybe we stay, maybe we skip. I've had women do that in my classes before. Keep it moving, elbows in, making circles. Pretend like there's something weighted in your hands, right? Zip those feet up, pull that belly in, get off the floor. Whew. Next, we need our mats or not. We're just gonna walk it out. I'll walk it out, walk it out, walk it out. Slide down the legs, walk it out, come to a plank, your version, walk it back. 
You can also go from the knees and stay on the knees. Walk it out to a modified plank. Walk it back. If that full up and down isn't real for you, don't do it, right? Make sure those fingers are spread wide. All 10 fingers are hitting the mat. Halfway there. Plug in the shoulders, nice long neck. I like to alternate my V hand. Dropping that booty. Here we go. Oh, yes. Lunge switches. So we're just going to step back. Back lunge, back lunge, front lunge, front lunge. Back, other side. Take it to the front, other side. Take it back, back, other side. To the front, other side. If this moving back and forth bothers you in any way, pick one way to go, either just forward or just backward, and focus on that. Make sure that front knee is behind that front toe, so we have to be stepping away enough to create that nice wide opening. Pull that belly up and in. Yes. Almost there. I gotta finish it. Finish the set. Time, okay. Come on down. We're gonna come to our booties. We got a hip bridge, feet come towards the booty, hands come in, press and rotate. Elbows come in to the sides of the ribs and then lift, press and rotate, working through the shoulders and the biceps. Press evenly into both heels, squeeze the glutes and lift, squeeze and lift. Make sure those shoulders are down and away from the ears. If this is too much, you can choose to just do the arms, right? You can choose to just do the lower half, your choice. Honor your journey. Press and lift. Make sure those knees are lined up with the hips. Squeeze and lift. If you want a little extra, you can lift the toes. Pressing evenly into both heels. Time. Whew. Ooh, fast feet. I'm already sweating. I don't know about you, but I'm already sweating. We go in low, we run. Now, again, this is not for everybody. If this running, this kind of impact, even though it's light, is not helping you or good for you, then just stay here. Stay low, lift the legs nice and high, but stay seated, right? Right in there. Meals. Because we're here for a while, let's make it different. Turn to the wall. Or maybe you don't have a wall. <laughs> Turn to the back. Turn to the other wall. Turn back to me. Let's go the opposite way. Running. To the back. To the wall. To me. Almost there. Travel. Bring it back. Sink in. Run it. Run it. Run it. Run it. Ooh. Hello. We're going to come on down to our knees. Press our hands fully in. And right here. Knees are under the hips. Flex the feet, alternating hydrants. Press in and lift. So, pressing into all 10 fingers. Nice long line from the top of the head to the tailbone. Flex those feet as they lift up and away. Working through those glute muscles, those outer thigh muscles. Press and lift. Halfway there. And if it gets to be too much, if you find yourself collapsing in, either pull yourself back in, pull that belly up towards the spine, or go into a child's pose and just take a break. It's a lot, I'm aware. I wanted to make sure that this workout gave you some cardio, gave you some strength training and targeted every muscle in your body. Next, we have a burpee. So, again, two choices. You can either plant the hands, jump the feet back, jump them in, launch, right? Keep 
So you decide, you can step it back, step it in, stand and lift, or any variation thereof. Plug in those shoulders, plant the hands fully. You can also do these with a push up at the bottom, right? Your choice, your workout, your choice. Take your time, form over everything. Almost there. You love them, you hate them, they're great for you. They target something like 85% of the body. One more. Whew. Down to the mat. Scissor crunches. Okay. Hands behind the head without pulling on the neck. Alternate sides. Get the shoulder blade off the mat. You can go as fast or as slow as you want. Just make sure you're keeping those shoulders away from the ears. A slight space between the chin and the chest. Pull that belly in. Breathe. Halfway there. This is the last one of the sets. And then we take it from the top. Back to the jumping jacks after this. Your version, so honor your body. Whew. Okay, let's go. Back to the top. Maybe you do jacks. Maybe you walk it out this round. Maybe you choose not to do the second half. Maybe you go low jacks. Hands up or up, sink in, stay low. You can even right here. Stay low <laughs> or not, right? You decide on your body. Sometimes in round two, when I do them like this, I like to make that second round just a little more challenging or just like slightly different, right? Soft on the landing either way. Tap and press. Yes. Oh my gosh, I am sweating. This is your body being fully alive. Thanking you for movement. Two moves. This time I'm gonna do a star squeeze. I was trying to catch my breath and swallow my drink. <laughs> squeeze, squeeze, big star, squeeze. I know you can't tell because of the way I blend in kind of with the stuff behind me, but I'm not coming to a locked leg. I'm keeping those knees soft at the top so that I'm consistently engaging through the legs, squeezing and lifting getting the shoulders and the back muscles right here as well. Here we go. Almost there. And squeeze. High knees. Again, you have choices. Walk it out, right? Or make it a jog. I'm gonna go for the jog. Get that little cardio. not looking forward to shoveling. I didn't touch it yesterday. So much snow. It looks light. Either way, I'm just gonna put on some music and take my time and move intentionally with and through my body, right? A lot of people injure themselves from shoveling, not because the snow is heavy, but because of bad form when they're moving the snow. We gotta pay attention to how we squat in, how we press up, how we protect our backs and our bellies. <sighs> squat. Squat and calf raise. This time I'm gonna reach for the floor, bicep curl, reach overhead with the calf raise. Like this. Reach, curl up, 
down, reach, curl, up, down. If you make these little fists and open them up, squeeze and lift, like if you're really lifting something, it adds a little extra resistance to your biceps. Make sure you sit in that booty back first. Chest stays lifted. Yes. Booty back, chest lifted. At the top, squeeze the glutes. Squeeze and lift. Yeah, man. Almost there. I think. I'm not looking at the timer. It's not my business until it beeps. <laughs> Which is right now. <laughs> okay. Jump rope or scissor jacks this time. I'm gonna go for some scissor jacks. So, right here. Pulling up through the core, lifting to switch those legs. Lift. You can also add the arms. It's very Jane Fonda. Yo, what was the guy with the curly, curly hair? Oh, he was like really excited all the time. Oh, I can't remember. Do the pony. Do the pony. That guy. You know what I'm talking about? It looks like this. Even those shoulders plugged in. Right there. Almost there. You're gonna come to me after. Simmons, right? Richard Simmons. Yes, yes. Okay. Walkouts. But this time, let's do single leg walkouts. Or not, on your body. You can also go from your knees, right? This one requires you to move a little bit slower so that you have good form. You're plugging in your shoulders, pulling in your belly. Oh, it's not always pretty, <clears throat> but make sure that you're not hurting yourself or doing anything in your body that doesn't feel right. Well, Oh man, these seem to be taking me longer than anything else. Oh, perfect timing. Oh, lunge. So you can either go back to the lunges or add a lunge switch with like a little jump in the middle. So we lunge, maybe I pulse. Switch. Soft on the landing. Front knee behind the toe. Back heel lifted. Hold the core up and in to come up. So again, soft on that landing. Pulse. Switch. It also helps if you find a spot to focus on for your balance. Almost there. Sheesh. Oh. Hip bridge. This time, I'm going to do some arm flies. Feet under the booty. Open up the arms. Press like you're holding a ball. Lift. Lift the legs, open the arms. You stop those arms right before they touch the mat. Pretend like you have small weights in your hands, small little globes that are weighted. Open and press, lift. Open, press, lower and lift. Open the arms, press the booty up, close the arms, lower the booty. Press evenly into both heels. Yeah, almost there, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's accurate. Oh, good. Whew. Shuffle. So instead of fast feet, we're gonna shuffle. Or you can go back to the fast feet, right? Your choice. 
I'm gonna start over here at this end of my mat, sink in a little bit, shuffle three times, one, two, three. One. It makes a little VA. Here, you can even add a little twist. Pull the core in, twist, twist, twist. Or if you want more for those um, hip quads, the thighs, the top parts of the thighs, you can also sink in, sink in, sink in. Right, your choice. I like the twist. Almost there. Back down to the floor for those hydrants. Tabletop pressing in, two on one side, then two on the other. Two times. Feet are flexed. Pulling that knee up. You are gonna get a slight rotation in the hip, but you don't want it to be too big. You don't wanna be like fully turning, right? Keep your body, your chest facing down. So you're really asking those glute muscles and outer thigh muscles to take on the majority of the work. Pressing into all 10 fingers, nice long line, top of the head to the tailbone, plug in those shoulders, press into the floor, breathe soft in the elbows. Almost there. Yes. Woo, let it go. All right, burpee, and this time, I'm gonna do it with a little rotation. So, we come down to our burpee. You don't have to do this, right? Rotate, bring it back. Either hop or walk it in, reach it up. Other side, either hop or step back, rotate. You can add that hop at the top or not. Your choice, your workout. This is why self-awareness is really important and exercise can help us get closer to that because we're paying attention to and listening to our bodies and what works for them and what doesn't. I can't tell you how many times I've taken a class And I know my body. So I'll be watching a workout, something the instructor's doing, and I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Either back to the scissor crunch or a full body crunch. Pull it in, reach for the heels. Pull, reach. Keep those shoulders plugged in and away from the ears. Keep that space between the chin and the chest. When we lift, the back is flat. If this is not available to you right now, right? Maybe you don't have that core strength yet. Go back to those scissor crunches or maybe just a regular crunch. Pull and lift. It already beat with a halfway mark. This is the last exercise, by the way. How fantastic. Almost there. One more, one more. Ah, okay. Whew, stand up because the heart is beating, beating, going. That's the end of the rest period. Nice job. That was awesome. Ooh, I got some sweat going there. Ooh, great work. Take a deep breath. Arms go up. Shake it off. We got every muscle that I could think of. You know, maybe we didn't target the triceps specifically, but in some of those arm lifts, arm rotations, we're definitely working those muscles. When we were on all fours, tap the feet out to the side. We were pressing into those muscles. When we were walking it out, we were using those muscles. So, whew, arms up and open. Four, three, two. Peel those feet back, kick the booty. Boom. Reach and pull. Elbows back. Four, three, two. Tap it up in the center. Kind of like what we did earlier, right? But this time, instead of warming it up, we're doing some dynamic stretching here and cooling it down. Four, 
three, two, take that left leg, right leg out to the side, reach for it, sink in and breathe. Pull the belly in, flat back, pull up that toe, drop it, rotate to the other side, pull it up, sink in and breathe. Good, nice, long, deep cleansing breaths here. Drop it, turn to the front. Bring the hands either to the shins or the thighs, whatever feels good for you. Press against the legs, nice straight legs right in here. Good, breathe. And then drop the chest a little bit more, feel a nice deep stretch in those hamstrings and glutes, breathe. Sink it all down and roll it up. Take one leg, cross it over, sink down, breathe. Deep breath, arms come up. And grab that same leg that's crossed, grab that wrist, pop that hip out, breathe into that side body. And let it go. Other side, cross it over, sink it in. Breathe, roll it up, arms go up. Grab that same wrist, same side, pop that hip, press. If this is off balance for you, by all means, step that leg out, breathe, and let it go. Good, step those legs out nice and wide, turn out the toes, sink in, press against the inner thighs. A little side to side, rock here, a little toe jam, A-O, right here. Press to one side, shoulder down, head up. Good, release, press to the other side, shoulder down, head up. And release, press it up, walk the feet in, press all your weight into your left leg, lift the right. You can find a wall or a chair to help you balance. Hold and breathe, stretching out that quad, knees are together, pull the foot into the bum and then press the foot into the hand. Feel that nice stretch. Good, let it go. Other side, <laughs> bring it up. Knees together, foot to the bum, pull it in and breathe. Pretending there's a wall helps, actually an actual wall, holding your ear. Good, step it up. Go up and over for four, three, two, one. Reach up, sink it in, breathe, side body stretch. Pull it down, other side, reach it up, breathe, sink it in, full body stretch, I mean side body stretch. Oh, pull it up, good. One arm across the chest, plug it in with the other arm. Drop the shoulder and then tilt the head towards the open arms. Breathe. Release the head first and then release the hands, roll out the wrist. Good, other side, cross it over, plug it in. Pull it in, drop the shoulder, tilt the head, breathe. Send some love and gratitude into your incredible bodies. We have a tendency to like withhold love from our bodies until release the head, they look a certain way, release the arms, roll the wrist the other way. And that's just silly because your body's already amazing and incredible and every body is beautiful. And the truth is there's no way to tell by looking at a body whether or not it's healthy, right? So like I've met really tiny, slim people who are super unhealthy. And then I've met bigger women and men who are really strong and healthy. So there's no way to really tell. So don't do that to yourself or to other people. Love your body, love your body. You showed up, you did amazing work. Open up the arms, palms face up, twist the pinkies towards the thumbs and then reach back. And as you're twisting, you're gonna feel this, not just in your back, but in your biceps. Breathe and then release, reach forward like you're hugging a tree. Lean to one side, look under your armpit, keep reaching forward, plug in the shoulders, lean to the other side, look under your armpit, reach, reach, reach and breathe. Back to center, arms go up, lean back, let it go. Give yourself a hug, <sighs> high five. Nice job, y'all, great work. Happy snow day, happy snow day.